Hello and welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oakley Hydef, and I'm here to bring you a new map made by Insomniac, and the name of the map is Nowhere USA, so let's get started. This map takes place in a desolate town that's in the middle of nowhere. So what he's done is he made a retro gas station here surrounded by houses and an open plain. Insomniac does a great job of selling the theme of the map, and you really find yourself believing that you're actually in the middle of this open plain. So what characterizes the map is the central structure here, the gas station, and he used wall coliseums to make a nice flat plane. He's also brought in some sort of thematic details, which is the crashed UFO over here, and it has some alien technology on top of it, so the needle rifle and sticky will be right there. As I said, the house is a centerpiece of the battle you, that you'll be witnessing, and it's really made well. Back there you can see the ice cooler of the, the gas station over here, you have the different retro style pumps, and on the inside you have a whole host of different shelves you can hold that inside the convenience store over here more ice coolers uh, it just looks really really nice and a cash register here so he's gone to great detail to put all the assets of forge world sort of squeeze all the budget into making a really convincing thematic map and it plays well for infection over there are the ac units over here an umbrella and lounge chair and over there you'll see the grill with the propane tanks attached to it so when you're holding out on top of this house it really plays well and just the whole lighting, the effects, everything just pulls you in. Now the way the gameplay works is essentially you're basically drawn to the house. The house is the centerpiece. Now you can hold out on the outside but inside is definitely where you want to be. So equipped with your shotgun you're going to want to sit either on the top or the bottom and you can split up your team accordingly and use teamwork to hold out. So once you're inside here uh, you want to secure the door and the only other way in is through the roof so if you're securing here then you're protecting the roof and the roof is protecting you so it's a good sense of teamwork. Cool. Another cool thing here or I guess it's kind of creepy but you can look out the window and you'll see all these zombies kind of sprinting out after you. So this is a good spot to hold out but what you'll witness is it can be stormed pretty easily just by zombies running through the door. So you can see zombies just take them out and as they move through the restaurant, or excuse me, the convenience store, they'll start wiping everyone out. Once that's done, then they can move up top, and that's when the humans up top will be compromised. Now you can also go through the top by sort of running around the house and looking for ways up. There are at least five or six ways up, and there are tons of ways to go about killing this, the humans up here. So go ahead and bunny hop up. And as you can see, they might be expecting me, so I take cover, but they're clever enough to shoot the propane tank, so that's a cool trick. Over in the back, you could have seen two people hanging out at the house. And that's actually something you can do, which is kind of retreat over here, hold out at these mini houses, and it's not it doesn't afford much cover, but it's still a potential for, to hold out in somewhere else. But uh, here you can see they just got wiped out. You really want to stick to the main house unless you have enough support. Also with the game type, you want to be sure to using that in order to have the proper damage, weapons, and to disallow vehicle use. So go ahead and use that. As for the map itself, it's just tons of fun. We play this map over and over again. It's another one of Insomniac's great maps. On top of the roof, it plays almost like you're trying to hold out an island. You're just trying to keep the zombies back, and all the time they're hopping over one side, the other side, which every which way and that. So you want to be careful of where they're coming from, but using teamwork, it'll allow you to survive much easier. The different weapons such as a sniper and all sorts of things to help you in your survival. And it really plays like a classic movie you might see. Over here a guy jumped off, and as I said before, it is viable to hold it outside. Granted, you'll get a good amount of kills, but you'll eventually be swarmed, just like that. Now there are two guys left up top, and when this happens, that's when you're going to get overrun, because you can't possibly cover the six or seven different ways up. So here, the last man is going to start bailing on them, and what you can do is, there's a soft kill around the edges of the map, but if you know it's over for you, you can go ahead and run off the edge and kind of jump off the edge of the map. So guys, this is a great map. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, this has been Oakley Hydef with the Halo Forge Epidemic, and I am signing out. Thank you. Infected.